Hi there. Well, we have uh, really need to talk about the help and documentation within MATLAB. It's nice to have someone hold your hand through videos and everything, but there's not quite the same as uh, having the, the full documentation of, of the application. So let's talk about it a little bit. Um, now, for example, I want to talk about the plot command because there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do with the plot command and it's not a not the kind of thing that you can go and do um, trial and error wise. So first off, you put the word help in front of the command you're curious about or the function you're curious about. And in the command window, it returns all of this. I'm just scrolling up here. Um, it returns all this information about the plot command then teaches you how to use it and um, talks about for, for plot in particular it's got coloring and point styles and line styles and you know how you can shorthand certain things or um, and then it's got some great things at the bottom like see also and looking at reference pages so this is great because it allows you to kind of explore further into the program maybe um, you know we want to talk about semi-log and and make you know one axis logarithmic um, so we can do that um, by looking at semi-log so uh, that's that's the help command now I, I want to show how this works um, so if you want to create documentation for your own functions how would you go about doing that so let's create our own function real quick and we'll just call it function y equals foo of x and let's just say y equals x squared okay so a nice simple function we'll save that as foo.m and there it is okay now what if I'm curious later a year later um, after I've forgotten what foo does maybe I don't have the source code or something like that maybe it's very complicated source code I want to be able to type help foo right it says there's no help found for foo. So here is how you can add help to your functions in addition to getting help in other people's functions. You put basically you just put uh, comments above the function keyword and that's what it'll return. So I'm going to say this is documentation and save that. And now if I clear the command prompt and say help foo, it returns exactly what I have. So I might say function y equals foo of x just says y equals x squared. Smiley face. Okay, now when I clear the command prompt again and type help foo, it tells me exactly what I have in the, in the help file. And uh, so that's that's extremely helpful because it allows you to explore things really easily. All right, so that's the help function. Now we can also use the doc function. So I'm just to have continuity here. I'm going to say doc, and then foo. Now this is kind of interesting. This actually brings up a page that pulls in that information as well. But if I type something like doc plot. It brings up a new uh, tab here and I have a much more detailed uh, help file on the plot command which I can look into and it, it has it very well formatted and has a lot of different examples and shows usage has example scripts so you can go into a lot more detail here um, now if I go back to uh, sorry I'll leave that open and I'm going to close this tab and open a new tab. It's going to take me to the MATLAB documentation home, and here I can jump into a particular um, a particular product. So maybe it's MATLAB in particular that I'm working on, or the curve fitting toolbox, right? So if it's MATLAB in particular, maybe I want to know, I don't know, more about the language fundamentals, for example. So I can dig around and and learn more about operators and elementary functions and uh, we need to talk about set operations and so here's functions that are in that category and this way you can really dig into things um, and explore about functions that you had no idea were there 
and of course you can search for them too. Um, so that's it. That's help and documentation. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it's helpful to you. So go and make cool programs and uh, send me some comments. Let me know if there's something you want me to do or to explore for you and maybe we'll make a video about it. Thanks.